Hi there, here's another quick video uh, continuing the 3D analyst theme uh, that you've seen in the last few videos. Uh, I'm going to show you the stack profile tool uh, so you can create a graph showing the peaks and troughs of a line as it goes over the elevation, the SRTM uh, raster that you can see here. So in the background again as usual we have our Orbis uh, raster map tile service and uh, so we're in Austria again uh, and here's a line that I drew earlier, one I prepared earlier and have used for several other uh, previous videos. In the 3D Analyst toolbox, so you can see 3D Analyst tools there and functional surface, uh, you can see stack profile. So this is going to create you uh, a graph and uh, using data from a table that it also uh, generates. So let, let's just go straight into it so you can see. So what, what are the line features I want to effectively profile? Well it's this line of sight layer. So it's just it's this one here, this thick red line. So it clearly looks like it sort of is going to climb up and then hit some high ground, dip down a bit, hit some high ground and then go down a couple of bumps there around that uh, by the looks of things and then um, a uh, few more bumps over there and um, I can just turn on the contours actually uh, there's the contours, doesn't help also being in red um, but uh, you can see there's quite a lot of activity, height activity up here, change of uh, uh, height data uh, these are 500 uh, meters so there's some rapid change in there so we should get some some decent peaks and troughs in this profile the, um, I'm using clip 5 as usual so I'm, I'm, it'll create the data but by default the uh, it, it'll uh, so by default it creates the data showing the elevation um, readings from the cell value uh, and thus being able to create the graph but the, the actual creation of the graph is is an optional thing so you put a name in this bit if you actually want to see the graph itself and not just the data so I call it my new graph do press OK runs a geoprocessor you can see it kicking away there get a green tick in the bottom right there with that tool and there you have your graph so you can see where it started um, down there and it climbs there's peaks trust then it really climbs down there a couple of peaks and then off it goes so that's your graph uh, it's got it from this data this is the table of data it has created so this is just a table this isn't geographic this isn't geometry and you can see the um, it's given a unique ID for each of the readings uh, for, for the for the line. It's also just told you what the source is for the raster and the source type. So, but what if you wanted to make changes to this graph? You can just double click and make various changes here, or you could you could effectively start from the beginning with the graph tool. Uh, you you have your data in this stat profile, uh, like I said, which is just a table. But in, in view and graphs, you could create a new graph. You could create, again, a, some kind of vertical line using the Z value. And there you go. So it, we're, we're customizing it and, and uh, effectively just working on um, using the standard graph tools to create what we want. Indeed, we could, for example, select to load and then create. I just manually selected there, but you could select how you like. And then pick your let's say the um, Z <coughs> like that and you can see them highlighted those records are just highlighted so you can see where they where they are and I won't add to a legend that's just the object ID I'll leave that well, well it's just standard graph stuff feel free to to um, play around I'm not bothered about the legend and stuff so we'll just show but this key bit here shows selected features and records on the graph 
So this data see is that. So I'm sort of just making it what's selectable. So now rather than rather than the whole table, I could go down here, you see it's all deselected and then just select, I don't know, all this lot. And then just get a graph of those records. So you could do that. That's another way to create the graph if you if you haven't optionally um, filled in that dialog here on Start Profile. If you haven't typed in something here, you can just go ahead and use the standard graphing tools uh, as expected. Control A there with Select Tool, and I just get back to you know uh, normal um, graph that was uh, originally created. Anyway, so that's the Stat Profile tool. Uh, it's uh, very easy to run and to be quite honest you'll probably spend most of your time messing about with the graph tool just making it look good labels etc um, uh, that's where you'll spend most of your time as actually using the tool is, uh, is is very simple select the features the line features select the raster and your output and off you go I hope that's useful thanks <laughs>